Hello everybody, it's Vinyl Rich here with a contest entry. I kind of told myself I wasn't going to do any contests, at least for a while. And then Bobby Gass had to do one. It's his 11-11 contest. Um, before I start though, Bobby, please stop smoking. I mean, come on. Put the damn things out, you know? Smoke some weed or something, you know? Drop some acid or do something like that, you know? You don't need cigarettes. Have a beer. Um, anyways, I had to enter his contest. I wouldn't have felt right if I wouldn't have. He's one of my favorite channels. I try to watch all of his videos. I don't watch all of his ones in the morning where he's playing music. I do watch some of them. Usually when those are popping up is the time I'm going to bed. But anyways, whatever. He wants you to name one of his favorite, one of your favorite videos of his. And I really like the ones he, he uh, where he tells some history. I remember he did one where he kind of told the history of the Gas family. And I remember in particular him talking about one of his aunts, I believe, in World War II. You know, those are very moving ones. As is the one where he reads the Christmas poem. That's a really, really a moving one. But I'm a dumbass. If I had to pick my favorite, it'd probably have to be the one where he's trying to give away the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack. I thought that was hilarious. Now, he also wants you to name or show albums from three of your favorite Canadian artists, musicians, or bands. And that's easy. I mean, you got Rush, Buckner Turner Overdrive, and the Guess Who? You know, so here we go. Nah! This is Vinyl Rich. You know you're not... I mean, no offense to anybody that likes those bands, but... This is Vinyl Rich here. First one I'm showing here. DOA. Punk band from uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. This is their second album, Hardcore 81. Their first album is really good, but this one is just fantastic. It's the band with uh, Joey Shithead on vocals and guitars. And uh, Chuck Biscuits, the fantastic drummer, played drums with Circle Jerks, Black Flag, and I believe on the first four Dan Zig albums. DOA. I got one more from DOA. This is War on 45. Not as good as that other one. This is probably, I think, their third record. It does have uh, some good songs. It's got a uh, war, the Edwin Starr song. War, what's it good for? You know, you know the one I'm talking about. And it's got another uh, class war by the Deals. I believe they might do that like in a reggae style. Second Canadian band we're showing here, Gentlemen of Horror. Look how young these guys are. I know this was a short-lived band. And I know these guys went on to form another band, which the name at this time escapes me. But whatever. Gentlemen of Horror, Canadian band. Punk man. And I've got a Canadian punk compilation here. Vancouver Independence. It's got the Subhumans, which are one of the biggest punk bands to come out of Canada. I think the singer, he was arrested for trespassing on a nuclear power plant. I don't know if he was going to blow it up or you know, something like that. It's got other bands like the Metro, Sea Monkey, No Exit, Droogs, B-Sides, MEC, Singing, Cowboys, a bunch of bands that I had really never heard of. And I'm sure most of you haven't either. I did know the Subhumans. Another Canadian band 
is the tea company and this is the album come and have some tea with the tea company now i did a video last summer my favorite psych albums and i did show this one and i made the comment that they're i don't know where they're from somewhere in the united states well actually they're a canadian band great band i'm probably gonna do another one of those my favorite psych because there were ones that i didn't show and then i have picked up some others since then now one of my favorite canadian bands is skinny puppy but i don't have any vinyl of them so i'm not showing them and another is steppenwolf steppenwolf actually started out as a band called sparrow three members of that band came to la and I believe they recruited uh, two people in L.A. and they formed Steppenwolf. But the big nucleus of Steppenwolf is also Canadian. But I'm not showing them. I am going to show three more bands. And these, for me, are probably the big three out of Canada. You've got the band. This is Rock and Roll Music, I believe is the name of this album. It's, I think it's all covers. It's not a great album. And this is their first album. Music from Big Pink. This is a great album. The band. One of the big three out of Canada. The other one, for me, it's got to be Joni Mitchell. This is Blue. Absolutely fantastic album. As is this one. Later in the 70s, Haraya, Haraja, I, I don't know. Great album. The bass playing by Jocko Pastorius, the guy that was in Weather Report, is just fantastic. He was not my favorite bass player in Weather Report, though, let me tell you. I like the Alfonso Johnson. I, I've seen, I saw Weather Report a few times in concert, and uh, Alfonso Johnson in concert was, uh, for me, was more entertaining, or I enjoyed more. Jocko, I mean, when you got a bass player in a jazz band playing on stage with no shirt on, I mean, really? Rock star. And the big one out of Canada is Neil Young. Everybody knows this is nowhere. His second album, fantastic album. And another Neil Young is After the Gold Rush. This is the first Neil Young album I ever bought. I actually bought this when it came out, 71 or something like that. 1970. Yeah, I remember. I bought this one when it came out. And to top it off, we got a... Neil Young bootleg here, recorded at the Los Angeles Music Center, the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, February 1st, 1971, on the trademark of quality. I've seen several different versions of this album. Those are my Canadian bands. Now he wants you to quote Shakespeare. Wait one second. I'm not... I mean, I have seen some Shakespeare plays in my time, but I'm not really, I can't read it, but here we go. Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? Take care, guys and gals.